when we took a look at uh, Boundary Dam, it was very evident that this project is on point, not only for uh, Canada and Saskatchewan, but for North America and the rest of the world. And that it was pertinent that the Energy Council come here and have the meeting in Saskatchewan uh, and Regina in particular, so we could get access to uh, and have proximity of the Boundary Dam. This project has the potential of of putting coal on a on a very competitive field with natural gas. In fact, it might even make uh, coal uh, more competitive uh, than natural gas. Uh, we were timing the meeting here in Regina to coincide with the startup of the plant. Uh, last night they started spinning up the generator again. Uh, it's going very well. Obviously it's going to take a couple of years, I think, to get a good feel for the emissions issue, to see if the targets are met. It appears that they are going to be met. Uh, the cost of the next project, we've been told, will probably come in 30% less than this one. Um, and most likely the next one will be cheaper. And as you bring in uh, engineers and industry from Europe and, and Asia and around North America, uh, and they continue to work on this uh, concept, um, my expectation is you're going to see the environmental numbers uh, come in a lot better 10 years from now than they look today. And I think here uh, with this project, uh, it'll be uh, in the press a lot more a year, two years from today than it is right now. I think t today there's very few people that even know uh, Boundary Dam exists and have no inclination of the impact that's coming at them. My expectation, my personal expectation, is this is going to make North America, mainly the U.S. and Canada, uh, more competitive worldwide and will bring more of the industrial base back to Canada and North America. I expect it to put downward pressure on natural gas and that will drive the petrochemical industry in North America and quite frankly this project is going to drive the coal industry not only in uh, Saskatchewan but it's going to drive it in Wyoming and everywhere else in between. Deal dealing with the current EPA regulations coming down um, I think it's going to be surprising to a lot of people that coal is not going to be knocked out of the market and come under this severe uh, uh, competitive pressure from natural gas. Uh, 